I stop yapping at me. I'll check the house. I'll check the house. Every night it's the same thing. Somebody's in the living room. I hear noises in the kitchen. All right. There's no burglar out here. You satisfied, Zelda? George. George. <laughs> Absolutely sure you checked everything. Are you sure, George? Because I am positive I heard something moving out here. The only thing moving in this house is your mouth. <laughs> you can afford to be snide, George. After all, you're a man. But you'd think a lot differently if you were an attractive woman. What does that mean, Zelda? Oh, grow up, George. Grow up. Put yourself in a burglar's shoes. Now, if you were a burglar and you came into this house and you saw me in my night clothes, don't you think you'd be after something a little more than money? What are you talking about? All right, I'll spell it out for you, George. There are plenty of men in this neighborhood who would just go crazy over the sight of a sensuous woman. What's that got to do with you? I guess I deserve that. When a man is used to filet mignon, he just can't realize that there are others out there going hungry. <laughs> I've spoiled you, George. Not spoiled, ruined. <laughs> just for that, George, you sleep on your side of the bed tonight. Don't worry. Did you check the closet? No. Well, check it, George, check it! I want to get some sleep. I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> All right, I'll check the closet, Zelda. Very satisfied. Get him. Ah! You see? Oh. You Jewelry, where is it? Tell him, Zelda. I will not. Look, lady, don't make me get rough. You don't fool me, Mr. Burglar. I know what you're after, you animal. <laughs> oh, look, Mac. Take anything you want, but leave her alone. Butt out, George. Come on, now. Come on, where is it? Where's for, it hidden? For me to know and for you to find out. All right, lady, you ask for it. Ah! Oh! Think it over, lady. He's going to get it again. Oh, stop moaning, George. I'm thinking it over before you get it again. <laughs> anything he wants, Zelda. Oh, that's easy for you to say, George. You men are all alike. All right, all right. We'll do it the hard way. Here, tie him up, hands and feet, over there on the couch, and be quick about it. Oh, oh, do whatever right. he says, Zelda. Oh, right. Do whatever he says. his eyes off of us. You jump him, see? He'll kill me. Oh, George, he's only bluffing. Give me your face. What if he isn't? Well, what if he shoots me? Well, if he shoots you, that's all to the good, because then the neighbors will hear the shot, and they'll come running over, and I'll be rescued. You see, George? Uh, all right, pipe down, you two. Come here, lady. Oh, have you no decency, you fiend? <laughs> what are you talking about? Aren't you even going to blindfold my husband? Oh, shut up. Turn around. Come on. Tell me the truth. When did you first spot me in the neighborhood, huh? I bet it was the other day when I was in the market in my sweater. Is she kidding? <laughs> I bet it was my chartreuse slacks, huh? I, I know something turned you on. <laughs> oh, sit down. All right, Mac. You want to save yourself a little pain, start talking. Don't hit me again, don't hit. All right, then, where's the money and the jewelry? My wallet's in my pants, and her jewelry's in the dresser. It oh. better be. Coward, George. 
that sniveling coward. What'd you tell him for? Are you crazy, Zelda? You know how much is in my wallet. I'm not gonna die for a measly $50. You're always thinking of yourself, aren't you, George? Well, $50 may not be a lot to you, but it's a lot to a widow. <laughs> what about my jewelry? It's cheap costume jewelry. Cheap? Cheap! Ah. Cheap! Ah. Bracelet. <laughs> well, it doesn't make any difference anyway, George. Why? What do you mean? I've got a little tidbit for you, George. You've got a pretty smart wife. It just so happens I took all my jewelry out of the bureau drawer yesterday. What? He'll never find it. Zelda, if he doesn't find it, he'll get mad. Oh, my head is bleeding already. It is? Yeah. Oh, that's awful, George. I know. I just had these slip covers clean. <laughs> the burglar! Burglar! Can I see you for a minute? Hey, keep quiet, you! Look, Mr. Burglar, I don't know you, and you don't know me, but as man to man, please do me a favor. What? Shoot me. <laughs> what, are you crazy? Yes, I am. I can't listen to that mouth for another minute. Please shoot me! I'm shocked. Do you realize what time it is? It's after midnight. Now, if he shoots you, that means the police are going to come and they're going to keep me up till all hours answering a lot of dumb, stupid, silly questions. Well, I probably wouldn't even get to bed till close to, oh, 5 a.m. And I'd sleep right through my Mahjong game tomorrow. <laughs> please, please, I beg you, shoot me. No, no, no Max, I can't me. do it. Shoot me! Please! It's so unattractive. No, please, I beg you, shoot me. Get it over where I... Look, Mac, this is the best I can do. Why don't you throw him out of her? What is... Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Burglar. It's all right, pal. Hey, look, uh, I'm sorry I hit you. If there's anything you don't need, it's another headache. <laughs> thank you. I always said this. There's a little bit of good in everybody. It cost me 50 bucks, but it's worth it to get a good night's sleep. I haven't had one since we got married. <laughs> Oh, shut up, Zelda! Oh, that felt so good. <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> shut up! <laughs> shut up! <laughs> oh, John. You know your phone is out of order. What are you doing here? Where's my little baby? There's a burglar here. Oh, did he try anything? No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd come and spend a week with Oh, good. It'd take me a long time to tell you about what went on tonight. I don't know how you do it.